Hey, what up guys? Uh, I got a fun video today. Uh, I got a lot of stuff going on, so uh, let's check it out. Alrighty, uh, first thing, update on the 67 Mustang. Uh, I remember I got the engine in, the headers, all that crap. Um, I have since put the CJ, because we, you know, we're going T5 on here. I have since put the CJ Pony Parts cable clutch conversion kit in. Uh, that was a huge son of a bitch. Uh, one of the hardest things I've ever done up under the dash because I didn't remove. I didn't really follow the instructions because I didn't want to. I didn't remove the pedal box and all that. I I just did it from underneath. Uh, it sucked. So that's done. Uh, the trans is in. I got the trans. It's a remember it's a 95 Cobra trans. Uh, I got the bell housing. I put a. Uh, King Cobra stage 2 clutch in here Just to, that way it, it's still a sprung clutch that way. It's still got Good pedal feel, but we'll hold the power and for you guys That are wondering everyone's like oh I'll put a Fox body trans put a Fox body trans from what I was reading online if That lines up better. I'm like, eh, I don't know. I Have tape over the shifter, but you can't the actual shifter housing, but this is the factory hole I mean, it literally fits perfectly because the 94, 95 T5s are 5 eighths of an inch longer than a Fox Trans, but it literally fits perfect. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet. We're making good progress on this. And we actually just got a box from the UPS man. So, uh, yeah, you can read what that is. Let's open her up. Okay. So, as you can read, I went the customer... He wanted to not do a carburetor on here. He wanted to do uh, fuel injection. So bear with me while I get these boxes out of here. He wanted to do fuel injection. Just for drivability and honestly, it makes these old cars a lot nicer. For uh, starting in cold weather and all that, which I don't really know how much driving he's going to be doing with this. Probably not much, but either way, a car would have been fine, or this. This is a little bit cooler, make it a lot more modern, actually, kind of uh, up the value of the car. So I picked this out. This is their. Sniper EFI, they call it. Oops, that was weird. This is their Sniper EFI. Uh, I went with the one that looks almost identical to a Holly 4150 double pumper. I mean, it looks pretty freaking awesome. If you didn't know, once we put the air cleaner on here and you don't see these wires, which they, it's kind of cool. Uh, this is the first time me seeing one of these. They, they're kind of tucked in the back here. If you put a little bit of a wire room over the top of that, you'd never even know. But it looks almost identical to a 4150 double pumper, 750. Uh, they make another sniper. This was the little bit more expensive one. Um, they make another one where it's like a big flat edge on the front, and it looks super gay. So I thought, let's just go with an OG-looking carburetor, and no one will know the difference once an air cleaner is on there and everything. So yeah, this is the 650 horsepower version in A, and it will also do 600 horsepower with forced induction if you ever wanted to put a little side slinger Vortec or something on here. So yeah, this looks pretty sweet. You know, anything coming from Holly nowadays is high quality. Comes with the harness, gaskets, instructions. I bought the this is the full kit. Um, comes with a wide band. Because this is self-tuning. Here's the little, you can't see it, but it's it's got a little touch screen in it that monitors, uh, you know, coolant temp, air fuels. That's how it's, it self-learns. It self-tunes itself, which is, for people who don't know what they're doing, works pretty awesome. I think this was the other box here is the master kit yeah I bought the master kit so I didn't have to source all this stuff separately 
uh, comes with fittings, fuel pump, filters, line, everything to run the fuel side of it for a, a vintage car that had a, a carburetor on it originally. So, to have this kit, you can buy just the this side of it or you can get this master kit with the pump and stuff. Uh, it was a couple hundred dollars extra for their for the full kit. So that's what this looks like now. It's actually starting to look like a freaking car again. So, all right, now on to my car. Okay, story time. All right, so we take the car out, get it all on the trailer, get it loaded. I'm like, all right, we're just gonna do the first pass on wastegate, which was after looking at the data logs was around six pounds leaving the line off on the two-step at around six pounds. So pretty much just left on the two-step and it stayed right there down the whole track. And I'm like, all right, uh, it should probably went like a 620 or something like that. 630 at the highest. Fucker went a 680. I'm like, what the hell? So, and it was kind of, it was kind of breaking up and shit. So I'm like, all right, all right. So I looked at the tune. Um, it was kind of fat and it was hitting or no, it was kind of fast, so I put, took some fuel out. I'm like, all right, and it was with the methanol, the new meth injection that I put on it, it was really tuned. That's what sucks about methanol, meth injection is, it was tuned for that high 20 pounds of boost that I kind of had it street tuned for. So when I turned the boost down, obviously you're getting less air, but the same amount of fuel. So it was like hella rich. And rich is not good for power. You know, the saying me, lean is mean. So anyways, we go, we up the boost to 20 pounds i actually kind of peaked like 22 and then fell and the fucker went a 640 with a horrible 60 foot just a horrible horrible fucking pass in general i'm like okay what the hell is going on this thing you know what i can't even look at this thing anymore that's what we think about this pass that's right fuck that pass jump Okay, anyways, so you gotta think, last time I went with a S475 and the thing went 580 on 13 pounds. We're at 23 pounds and it went 640 and not even hardly over 100 mile an hour. Yeah, shit was not going good. So, consensus, what we figured, oh, then I went to go make a third pass. I went to go make a third pass and the trans brake didn't hold at the line it just rolled through then i went to the guys at the staging lines went to go back me up and i had no reverse so the transmission got freaking burned up so that's kind of where we're at now so what i figured out after looking at the data logs on the air temps is they were like 150 or more so uh, methanol injection with no intercooler sucks major balls. Okay, so I was wrong about that. Pro meth, you fucking suck. So we're getting rid of. The, I took the methanol injection off. I was. I'm not doing that shit no more. We're gonna put an intercooler back on this thing. So we're putting an intercooler back on it. Um. I, so I think it was down on power. I mean, if just looking at the mile an hour, it was down on power. So I think that was due to the intake air temps just going high, and it was just laying over on the big end so yeah it needs an intercooler on it so an intercooler i got one coming we're putting an intercooler back on everything else is staying the same except for this little detail Ugh. Ugh. yep that's right no transmission she gone the turbo hot for obviously we had to take it out obviously we had to take the turbo 400 out when we burned up the reverse clutch that we took it out to see what the hell happened to it so it burned the reverse clutches up and uh which i don't even have it anymore i sold it now so me and jake went through and he's pretty savvy with these it burned the reverse clutches up uh other than that it all looked good so um we rebuilt it there on the spot and then that thing went on craigslist and it sold so no more tur turbo 400 it's bye bye so now we are going power glide jake has been building a badass power glide i'm just gonna buy it off of him and we're gonna get this bitch slapped in here and have it hopefully running in in the next 
I don't know, two weeks or something. Once everything's done, I gotta do a little more fab work again, but we've got enough parts between the two of us to hopefully get it going. So yeah, that's what's up. So yeah, things are going good here. Stuff was going not so good here. I was expecting this thing to honestly be going in the, I was hoping to click off some 560s with it. 570s la, la, uh, this last weekend. And I, sorry guys, I didn't film any of it. I was pissed off and I was only there for I, 30 minutes before the transmission blew up. So it didn't blow up, it burned down, but. Um, so yeah, new power glide coming in. It's gonna be badass. It's all aftermarket everything. Um, I'm gonna reuse my same converter, see how that goes. Intercooler's going back on. Should get our power back. And hopefully we'll be, my goal is to run a 550 sometime this year. And I got about two months left to do it. So that's the goal. Uh, I'll let you know as stuff comes in. This weekend we're gonna get that power glide hopefully put in. Um, Jake's about got it done. So yeah, that's what's up guys. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll keep you posted.